tribe, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a guest, Valdez, and I would like you guys to introduce to what Valdez does. So we're going to speak a little bit about that. So why I'm doing this, I have started to take an interest in different practices apart from mediumship, tarot, and I thought that certain healing practices could be beneficial for someone out there listening. Okay, Valda, so can you tell us a little bit more about your work and what do people need to know? Yeah, hello, everyone. Uh, it's uh, very nice uh, to be on the interview. It's my first time in English language also. <laughs> I have many titles, a teacher, also a healer, uh, also a Qigong instructor, Chinese image medicine uh, uh, therapist, uh, also a constellation uh, pra practitioner. The main title, I, I could say, I'm a human. What means uh, human? My whole work, I named uh, a journey to yourself, to the inner self, to the real self. How and why I came to this uh, title? Approximately in 2018, when practicing uh, deep Qigong practices, I started to hear uh, a sound Wu in myself. Just started name it, uh, uh, sing it, Wu, uh, Wu sometimes, and etc. etc. I didn't un understand what what is that. During that time, I was writing a business plan for. for a natural business center. I found in internet some example in 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 in, uh, in, in, in foreign countries like uh, human uh, health or something like that. Also natural medicine center. And and then I I thought, oh, hmm, who man? I hear myself, who who? Okay. And then I realized what it is. And then I entered Google Who, and what I, what I found. I found that uh, this name Who or sound Who is ancient word of supreme entity and God. Mm -hmm. It's in, in ancient Native American, it's in uh, Hebrew, in uh, Chinese, in um, Celtic, uh, culture in, in India, Hindu, and many, many other ancient cultures and civilizations. And, and then I, uh, I realized what, what comes to me <laughs> and what is who and what is human, who is human. Uh, I understood that uh, human is divine being. We are divine being. Uh, and uh, in Chinese, uh, sometimes say uh, who and who. Mm -hmm. Woman, woman. Mm -hmm. So, uh, divine man and divine woman. So, <laughs> it's like uh, yan and ying, mm -hmm. yin yang, yin yang energy, and it's divine masculine and divine feminine. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then I realized that what I'm doing, it's uh, not only removing these blockages, obstacles in in life. But I'm removing, uh, I'm clearing the way uh, to the real self, to the, to the God, divine self. Uh, it's like also an yin and yang, flesh, flesh is, is yin, and soul is yang. And only becoming uh, a ba in a balanced state, we can feel uh, ourselves the whole, and to feel uh, like a God. So, so, and I understood that our purpose in, in life is to become a divine human, a divine being here on, on, on earth. I changed my, my, my uh, uh, title of work, not only as instructor, a therapist. Uh, the main goal is to, uh, to, to help people to become their real selves, to find a way to their divine self divine being i uh, would like to wish everyone to to start the journey to to, to their real self to um to find this, themselves what they really want to do in their lives not only from the ego or from the um, mind but from the soul the soul lives here in in, in the chest and in, in the heart so 
let the journey begin. <laughs> so I would like you, Valdez, to talk us through what constellation is. Uh, what constellations are? What, what, what the constellation is? A method which lets us to see the real causes of our problems. They could be uh, very, very deeply uh, hidden. Yeah, let, let, let's say it, it, it could be in uh, previous lives. It, it could be uh, 100 years ago, it could be 10,000 years ago, or, or even 100,000 years ago. Also, these causes can be seen in, uh, uh, in our ancestors' lives or not so far in, in, in our lives uh, in, in this life. And the constellations uh, let us see, find out what are the real causes. And these causes could be, let's say, the uh, trauma of mother, uh, with, with mom, uh, trauma with some uh, deceased uh, relatives or uh, some uh, beloved ones, uh, and, and, and much more other things um, which, which could happen in our lives. And these traumas, uh, and blocks are mainly uh, emotional traumas, which cause uh, energy uh, shortages or energy blocks in our body. Mainly, uh, constellations uh, are known uh, for the work with the family uh, tree, let's say, with ancestors. But um, my constellation, I um, made it a little bit more sophisticated because I practice uh, some other things, some other schools like uh, Zhang Yuan Qigong and Chinese energy medicine. And uh, I applied methods of uh, Qigong and Chinese energy medicine in one composition with, with the constellation. And uh, I deeply understood what, what the constellation means and uh, uh, what is um, behind that name of constellation. Uh, as I understand, it's very deep work with the uh, energy and the soul. Uh, in Qigong and Chinese image medicine, uh, we know that uh, uh, the whole world and the human is, uh, has three levels. It's like physical level, energy level, and souls or informational level. Physical level is uh, known for everyone. Um, it's, it's like um, Earth, it's a uh, materialistic wor uh, world, it's a body uh, which we can touch and uh, feel. Uh, energy is a little bit, a lit a little bit uh, uh, more complicated, but uh, energy we can feel. We cannot, uh, let's say, um, get uh, understanding of it we, we just can feel it we can see it and also with, with the third eye and also we can feel it. energy is like a uh, fuel for our body to be healthy uh, fuel for our life without fuel our car cannot go further our body is a car uh, fuel or diesel or petrol is uh, energy. Our soul is a um, driver which sits in that car, in our body, and, and, and decides where to go. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and uh, so soul level is a little bit uh, more difficult to understand. It's everything about the human soul, the past lives, about lives of our relatives, uh, or, or karma. Mm -hmm. You can say in one world, in one word. In constellation work, uh, we work with this uh, um, energy, I mean the energy and soul. The constellations mainly are used by psychologists or other people who do not practice uh, so other pra other practices uh, like qigong, meditation, or some other uh, thing, and they only see that it works. But how it works, they, do not, they don't have a deep uh, Scientific understanding. proof, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I started to uh, experiment, make experiments uh, with, with uh, constellations. I wanted to try out, can I feel more than ancestors? Mm -hmm. And I found out that 
we can feel during consolation everything, personal issues, uh, health, uh, relationships, uh, uh, money, business. Uh, we can feel the company, what's it like to be a company, what energy level it has, what problem it has. Um, uh, we can feel even Earth, even, even the whole universe. So um, this way, in this way, we can, in, during constellations, we can uh, deeper understand and feel uh, what, uh, who we are, where we go, where are we from, what is the real, the real history of our planet, let's say, of, of humanity, of civilizations, and uh, uh, many, 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 many other things. Uh, even we can find out what entities are attached to us and are um, living on, on our energy. Yeah. And so <laughs> many, many things and uh, a lot of people, uh, when they, we are working with them, we are working with them, asking, how do you feel it? How? Uh, I can say that uh, everybody can feel it. Everybody can uh, develop these abilities. Um, I took, uh, I, I could say I took uh, two or three years to, to get some feelings uh, in with the deep practice of Qigong. And everyone, uh, everyone can do that. Um, Qigong is not the only way uh, we can achieve it. We know a lot of people who uh, have uh, extraordinary, extraordinary abilities, uh, even from the, even from the, from the childhood, or, or, or for some people, these abilities come at once, like, mm -hmm. like uh, let's say, thirty-six. Birthday came and lightning yeah. stroke and 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 and, uh, and they started to feel and see things that they couldn't uh, see before. This is uh, like the other side of life, uh, which ordinary people do not see uh, or feel. And I want to talk a bit about my constellations. So guys, I have went for constellations with Valdes. We've done two sessions. And I want to talk about something that I found quite interesting. We talked with you about entities. I know for sure that all of us have certain entities attached to us for our time, especially when our vibe is kind of low. And um, it was nice to see that, you know, when we did the second time the constellations, the numbers of souls or the numbers of people that uh, suffered from maybe me or I suffered from them were quite similar because we could have gone off, you know, you could have told me like, oh, there was like thousands of people, souls that I see, but the numbers were so close. And when we started talking about entities that I I have attached to me, I think you said seven and I was like six, but it's very similar. Like we could have been way off and it's nice to see how it's in tune for both people and there was one uh, interesting moment too where you saw a spirit of a child next to me and you knew for sure that that spirit of a child was mine and uh, you made me think for a minute you're like I, are you not are you sure that you haven't lost a child and I'm like yeah no I haven't you know because you think of a of you know an actual you know or abortion or when you're like heavily pregnant losing a child that's what you think of and I, I remember that I did have um I believe an early pregnancy and I didn't even go to doctors and I knew that there was some, something was off because of the pain I was feeling in the second week and then you were like that's exactly it that's exactly it and how many things that we don't know of but what I didn't tell you afterwards is the uh, the spirit after the constellation I had a dream of a child who came to say bye to me, you know? So that was yeah, nice to nice. see. And yeah. then when I started um, doing a bit more meditations because I wanted to keep the energy going after constellations, I, I did have a presence of a spirit that again was a child's one, but it felt very different. It almost felt like I said bye to one spirit and as if 
another spirit is waiting to incarnate. That's exactly what I heard. Okay, I'm here to say hi, I'm going, I'll meet you soon. That type of situation. I was, when I was growing up, I remember a lot of, you know, terrible dreams that I had. I was even taken to a um, psychiatrist office to, to deal with that. And she said, this is not my job. This is something much bigger than this. So she gave this woman who does, you know, entity removals numbers. So I went there and they actually, um, they actually asked me to go for exorcism. I'm not even kidding. It was that bad at one point, but I didn't go. I was like, no, this is crazy. You know, I don't want to go there. The more I grew in my life, um, I realized that there are still, you know, those energies that I can feel sometimes, but it's nothing as close as it used to be. You know, that intense feeling or some kind of dream that you chase after you and stuff. Even if your energy is high, there is going to be becoming a bit less of a chance of feeling it as intensely. But this is just my observation. Every person, for sure, for sure, has at least one, uh, maybe 10, or somebody uh, even more as them. More become uh, energetic or, or, let's say, a higher level of spirituality. Uh, we have more energy, and we are like uh, uh, a, li a, li uh, a bulb lighting yeah. in the dark. And uh, we know that uh, if there is a light in the night, uh, a lot of um, light not beautiful, uh, yes, uh, come to, to, to the light. If we have higher vibes and higher energy, a lot of entities are coming. They see us in the night mm -hmm. because we are lighting like a bulb in the night. And and uh, more stronger you become, more stronger entities comes to you. And also, and this is also the uh, like lessons for us. Mm -hmm. Because uh, because if we fear them, then uh, they feed on our fear. Yeah. They feed our on our energy. Mm -hmm. uh, so the main lesson is not to fear at all, not at all, because they cannot harm us mm -hmm. on our fear. Yeah. So uh, uh, so if if uh, let's say you dream dream. At night, that some devil <laughs> or some evil spirit comes to you. Don't bother at all. Just just see what happens, and just see, uh, look at, at at its eyes, and um, you will see that nothing will happen. You wake up from the dream. Uh, you wake up from such a dream. You of course uh, wake up sweaty, uh, and uh, you you can feel that. Uh, uh, like uh, uh, with a goosey uh, bump on, yes, <laughs> on your skin because you can feel, your body can feel that something or somebody is in the room really, for sure. And if you have third eye vision or you have like very good intuition or feeling, you can feel that really something is in, in the room. Yeah. And uh, I had a lot of such dreams, and uh, a lot of dreams like you are being uh, like captured by these entities, and like they are taking you by the leg, by the arm, and you are spinning around mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> during the dream, and uh, you woke up, and you still feel like you are going around, but no fear, and, and nothing happens. And then, then, of course, what I do, I go meditate, to, uh, I go to meditation or I make a constellation uh, with my wife. And then we see who or what came to us mm -hmm. in the dream. And uh, usually these entities, um, uh, we, we think that these entities are like evil spirits or devil or something like that. But um, I understood, what I understood, that these spirits are human spirits, which uh, were like locked in our world, in, in, on Earth, and uh, long, long time ago. And uh, without body, these spirits do not have like uh, uh, energy source. And only with 
fearing other people. They are feeding, they are receiving energy. I had some feelings on that, how, uh, how uh, there is to be felt like such spirit. Uh, there's very, very cold. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, minus 40 or minus 50 degrees. Uh, and you, you, you feel freezing cold, but you cannot, uh, you cannot die. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and let, let's say we feel that 100 years, 1000 years, 10,000 years, or, or even hundreds of thousands of years. And one night uh, I felt, um, I, I dreamed a dream, say a very strong, uh, spirit, uh, evil spirit comes to me and says, Oh, these other spirits were, they're not so bad, but I am the real devil. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, it, it was very, very frightening. Uh, but uh, but uh, I tried not to fear. And uh, in the morning, uh, we, we, the wife also made them a consolation. And we saw that a spirit of uh, a human spirit, which was very, very old, it was like three million years. Uh, walking on the earth, ab like abandoned or locked on the earth, uh, and was looking for food. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, during my work, I sometimes see that not human souls are attached to a person. Uh, it's like other civilizations or other other intelligent species, but uh, mm -hmm. which do not have body. They are uh, like energy beings. Uh, they have very intelligent mind, but uh, they some, somehow they got lost in their way. They got away from their soul. Mm -hmm. They developed their technologies, uh, etc., etc., like gathering energy from other entities with the help of the technology but not uh, not uh, developing their selves and they're not developing their connection with the gods with the ultimate source of energy mm -hmm. uh, and they got uh, got lost and they forgot that they are also the creatures of the gods and uh, in such works you even can talk with them, and uh, you can feel them and uh, gather, read information. Oh, uh, we have uh, uh, lost. We have. We got lost. We uh, we now do not have our own planet. Yeah. Like, like their civilization uh, was very technocratic, and some uh, they started their uh, cosmos flights. Uh, uh, starships, uh, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and uh, the planet was planet got polluted, and and they cannot live in, in in the planet now, and and they are looking for like other sources of energy, and they attached to to, to other species. Yeah. And uh, and uh, I see in in humanity this also in, in people, and sometimes it feels like. They are controlling us, controlling our population uh, to do the same, to, to, to develop technologies, uh, not, not um, uh, spirituality, to go in their way. Because why? Because if you go into the way of spirituality, then we can at some time uh, to see by ourselves that something is on us. Uh, like these beings attached, and and we don't want want to feed them more. <laughs> uh, we we want want to get rid of them and to return uh, our energy back. Uh, and they they don't, of course don't want to get rid of uh, the, the source of of, of energy, um, and they sometimes uh, uh, in our path they uh, want us to get lost in our path these entities uh, also seek love seek love uh, we uh, we can see them with the love look at them with the love and can help to leave this uh, earth and let them 
reincarnate again mm -hmm. or not. Yeah. Sometimes they uh, brings us uh, wrong information, and and some healers uh, think that this information is correct, and they go further with this yeah. information. They, they they tell to the people, the uh, patients, let's say, heal them. And sometimes these patients come to me, and you see that uh, you feel that and ask. Where have you been to? What healers have you been to? Uh, uh, because I feel that uh, that healer not helped you, they harmed you. Sometimes people who have opened third eye see like spiritual teachers coming to them, like uh, Christ, uh, Buddha, etc., etc. But uh, it's not uh, usually Buddha or Christ by themselves. Uh, sometimes this entity comes to the person and uh, like uh, like uh, wants to wants a healer to be mistaken, a practitioner to yeah. be mistaken, give him a, a wrong information, wrong direction, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, when all the third eye works. But uh, with the, with this um, spiritual hurt, uh, emotional uh, center. We can feel is that true or is that false? Yeah. Uh, but I, it, it helps. Uh, but uh, the second heart or this uh, spiritual heart is much more important mm -hmm. because it's like a translator from every language, and you can understand, can read every information. And if you can read information, it's, it's much more better than third eye. You don't, you even don't need this third eye. Mm -hmm. Because you you live in the in the knowing that yeah. uh, what is true or what is false. Yeah, that's very true. Like yeah. when people ask me sometimes, how do you differentiate intuition and intellect? Um, yeah. I like to give that example. You know, we have road A and road B, and you don't know why you from here being pushed like this towards road B. And your mind yeah. can't explain because maybe that road, it takes you so much longer to get home, but your, yeah. your, your chest is like, go there. Don't know why, but go there. So yeah. All it, it's, uh, heart is like a quantum computer, which knows every direction at once and chooses the best, the best one. Mm -hmm. the best and, and yes, and we feel that, wow, I won't go there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and same goes when people uh, when people trying to find you know trying to find their their life path. Um, it's not it's not about thinking of what it is as much as just doing what feels right right here today, and that's gonna take you to something else, something else, and then here you go, you're doing something that you love. Uh, yeah. So uh, so. Uh, I, I would like to wish uh, practitioners, uh, people who will see us, to develop their feeling. It's, and, and this is uh, the yin side, not yang side. So it's quite tricky, you know, and we all access, I think, in a way, a bit of a different information. But as long as you have your senses developed, you will already feel straight away that something is off. Something is off. Yeah. Maybe not the first time, the second time, it's just gonna feel weird or energetically draining in a way. And it shouldn't be energetically draining like that when it acts uh, Yeah, did you remember in your consolation, we felt that some, some entity was trying to interrupt us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. definitely. Some people that say, open the The third eye and see like oh did you yeah okay. not the entity we almost interrupt now. Yeah. <laughs> I can say that this entity uh, you uh, wants to interrupt us and uh, even sometimes uh, let's say computer doesn't uh, turn on or uh, connection interrupts and this is uh, the job of, of these entities. 
they don't want us to reach higher uh, levels. <laughs> I'm going to finish with technology a bit. Um, when it comes to tech, yes, this can be an entity, but have you noticed sometimes when you energetically really high or like pumped up, the tech reacts straight away, like it just glitches or something happens that doesn't work. I don't know how about you, but my laptop, if I'm energetically very like hyped up, it starts heating up so bad that I need to turn it off for a minute, calm myself down and come back to it because otherwise I can't do anything about this. Uh, I haven't felt uh, these things. Uh, I know with, with some other practitioners that sometimes happens that. Uh, but uh, ma main reason for that is that uh, energy field is not like uh, uh, gathered center. Contained. Not like center. Yeah, it's it's like uh, uh, the field is very 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 large and not center. Mm -hmm. Just uh, or maybe uh, the 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 not the whole field is mm -hmm. like controlled by 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 that. Uh, healer, let's say, or practitioner, and uh, but it's 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 normal. It's normal. Just it's 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 a path. Just we have to get used to it and uh, get uh, better control of, of ourselves, yeah. of our our energy. <laughs> I think it's a problem of grounding because I was exactly talking yeah. about that when when I'd feel like, oh my god, I want to do this and I want to do that. And I'm excited. And the yeah. excitement, it's not very grounded sometimes, you know. It can be, but sometimes it's very chaotic. So, yeah, that's so, so true. Very, very important to be grounded. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this is why after some sessions, you have to go to nature, to, to walk in the forest, uh, to, to, to walk barefoot, uh, or, or let's say, uh, or maybe even lie on the ground, <laughs> mm -hmm. or, or, or sometimes you you want a very hard meal, a meat, not like yeah. ve vegetables or, or meat, because uh, meat uh, uh, very grounds you. Mm -hmm. uh, you. You 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 have a body of flesh, uh, and and a body needs it, and. Uh, <laughs> I, I've had stories uh, from our teachers that um, one teacher was um, like uh, 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 not, not vegan, but um, how it's called the vegetarian. Uh, the vegetarian, yes, and uh, like for ten years was vegetarian, and from one session she went uh, to the shop, uh, saw chicken. And she like uh, thought, "Wow, it's so so delicious! I want it! Wow!" And she bought like a half a kilo of chicken, mm -hmm. and uh, momentarily, ten minutes, ate uh, that chicken. <laughs> like body wanted wanted that. So we can sometimes feel what body really needs, and yeah. it sometimes could be very strange things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know, you know, touching on that topic, um, especially in new age spirituality, people think that, you know, a healer, you know, of some sort should be only eating vegetables, right? Yeah, not hurting animals because of the karma and all of that stuff. But I've seen people who have actually become much more grounded and better and self-contained when they start eating meat. Um, yep. and there is one comment I'm going to read out very quickly on my um, channel that I was about to actually answer, but since we touched this, this is going to be interesting. Where is he? So his name is White Fox, and he said, have you ever experienced your own personal journey guiding you away from mainstream modern spirituality and its philosophies? Example, veganism, crystals, and so on. If so, how did you process it? Trust your intuition. And then he said, I grew up in a holistic environment, vegetarian, vegan, reflexology, etc. And recently started eating meat and going down unconventional spiritual avenues, feeling much better for it. Though some mental doubts sometimes come in when feeling alone. Thank you for your guidance. So he, for example, grew up, you know, in a holistic environment. And that was something that people said that is all right to do. And you shouldn't eat meat. But once he went on his spiritual path, 
he started wanting to eat meat. So that's exactly the same thing. I tell people, you know, I'm not here to tell you what, what you should eat because my body is not your body, you know, and vice versa. And we shouldn't have such strict rules for everyone working in yeah. spiritual fields. Yeah, there, there is no strict rules. Uh, you have to feel what you need, what practice you need, what, uh, what teacher you need, what healer you need, what, uh, uh, what meditation you need now, what meal, everything. Everything you have to feel yourself and uh, you have uh, to balance yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, meat, yes, meat is yin energy, yin energy. And during sessions, we work with uh, large uh, high vibrations, it's uh, yang energy. And uh, our body needs to ground and needs yin energy. Mm -hmm. And uh, to yin yang to become in, 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 in balance. Some teachers say that in energy is like a black fish in Inyan the sign, and it's like um, uh, harmful things. It's like evil side of our life, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, what I have found out during my work, my work with people, that it's not evil side. Yes, of course, there are like other entities in Yin side, mm -hmm. uh, like in nature. In nature, we have like uh, there are beautiful creatures like eagles, swans, and etc. etc. Also, we have not not so beautiful things, uh, creatures like ticks, worms, and spiders. <laughs> yeah. And so, and so there is uh, also good and bad side in yin and yang energy also. But and it balances it out. Like that's that's why it's there. Yeah, and and in yin yin energy. The highest form of yin energy is unconditional love. It's not yang energy, it's, it's yin energy. And uh, it's like a divine, uh, divine feminine. Mm -hmm. And uh, yang side is like divine uh, masculine. And it's uh, also like soul side and in, in the highest form it's consciousness or wisdom. Mm -hmm. And so, if you want, uh, like a practitioner, so people to be the whole, we have to develop yin side, side and yang side also. Mm -hmm. And in Christianity, uh, like uh, uh, priests or exorcists tell that this yin yang symbol is a symbol of evil or devil. Really? <laughs> of this. Yeah, really, really, really. Wow. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and you then then you understand how our world is misconcepted, uh, mis misleaded, how people are misleaded, and a lot of teachers, gurus, uh, healers, uh, think and learn uh, heal uh, only using uh, this uh, uh, bright side or heal uh, young side. Yeah. And and and. And not paying attention to this yin side, but it's it's like uh, yin side is like a mother, yang side is like a father, mm -hmm. and uh, without a mother we we cannot live, uh, we cannot uh, be born mm -hmm. without a mother. So uh, first we go to the mother, to the yin side, and then we go to the father, to the yang side. Yeah. So same goes for you know we. Um we are light beings, right? But we have a, our shadow side. That's what a lot of people do on the unspiritual path. They, yeah. they want to dive deep into the shadow work where all the answers lay in the darkness. That's how I like to say it, right? The more you dig, why you are like you are, why these sensations happen and stuff like that, the more you can push yourself upwards and become a bit more lighter every day. so many misconceptions that I've come across myself doing my work that I'm like more people should talk about certain things you know because yeah. so many things got twisted for time like a broken phone uh, sometimes it looks like it was made like uh, on purpose yeah it, 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 was, it was made like on purpose to mislead people yeah. and uh, we, we have Christianity we have uh, other rel religions and you sometimes in the path on your spirituality path, you can see that uh, yes, maybe for some people religion helps, mm -hmm. but in some time it begins 
to harm you. Yes. And to, to stop to stop you from growing further. That's partly control. Let me see who's done better. Let me see who broke a rule. And this is like a container. It be, you're not free in there. You cannot, yeah. you cannot level up in a way. And there are people yeah. who approach it in a very balanced manner, but then there are people who become obsessed by only rules. And uh, it can be very damaging, I think, if you're trying to uh, become this light being in a way. Uh, yes, it's like rules. It's like uh, it's like a wall, mm -hmm. and uh, you cannot. Yes, you cannot grow farther. And in, in Christianity, you go and like uh, boom to the window. You stop. You cannot go farther. Mm -hmm. You you need uh, you need the priest. You need the uh, exorcism, sense, yeah. uh, etc. etc. Et and uh, you cannot have a direct connection connection with the divine. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, what what I am teaching and what I am working with, understanding I have is that everyone must. It's a must to develop a, a direct connection with the divine. Yeah. With 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 the divine self, with the divine being, uh, because we all are the part of it. We all have the divine. Uh, particle inside us, mm -hmm. the divine pole. Why these spirits are locked or attached to, on, on us? Um, this happens uh, when uh, people die not naturally. Let's say, like from disasters, got killed or, su or suicide. Uh, maybe let's say unborn children, dead unborn children, uh, unborn children, and and and, and other things. So, uh, during a death, uh, a normal death is a process, mm -hmm. and uh, during normal death, a large quantity, large amounts of energy emit from the body, and that energy feeds the, the soul. And leads to the higher uh, realms, let's say, to, to, to the light or to the God, let's mm -hmm. say, or to the source. And these uh, spirits, uh, not having, uh, let's say, not having the source of energy, not having the body, uh, mainly they are attaching to the relatives, mainly, uh, alive relatives, and feeding on their energy. Let's imagine how many such souls we can have in, in, in the whole ancestors' lines. Mm -hmm. uh, from father's line, from the mother's line. Uh, it could be hundreds or thousands sometimes. During our history, how many wars we had, how many killed people um, or suicides or or let's say some natural disasters have been, or, or et cetera. Humans sometimes can attach to certain places, certain objects and uh, locations even, people as well. And they just don't want to leave because it feels like home. Well, there were a couple of instances that I have found that happening where a person was attached, for example, to a house that he has built and he doesn't want to leave, he's good, he's hanging around there. And there was a situation where a person couldn't sell the house, it was by the way, I think Leo's work in his uh, hypnosis that he did. Um, he talked to that father and he said, listen, why don't you wanna go, you know? He was like, no, I'll build this house on my, with my own hands and I'm, fe I'm feeling good here. And the problem was that his daughter couldn't sell the house because when people walked in the house, to automatically spread that energy that there is something cold in this house energetically. We don't feel like home here. <laughs> he even ad admitted through hypnosis saying, yeah, well, but he was kind of laughing. Yeah, I kind of scare them, you know. I take, to take them to the basement and it's very not, you know, cozy over there. Okay. And there are instances like that too. So it's a very kind of diverse topic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, from the, my experience, uh, work with constellations, I've seen uh, many cases where 
the souls uh, uh, were attached to places where they have been killed or where they died. It doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't matter. It's their home, or this is like uh, they uh, they made their suicide. Um, uh, by falling down uh, before the train or something like that. Uh, it, 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 it doesn't matter. Of course, uh, sometimes there are that people uh, are attached to some things and uh, they don't want to leave it. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, this happens when they, they maybe they, they die in, in near, near that place and, um, and they die not naturally. If normal process of death, the, usually these uh, souls uh, go to the source and uh, they do not bother other people. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I had one a particular case where uh, one woman came and she told that uh, she was 40 years old or maybe a little bit older. Uh, and she told that uh, starting from the 16th birthday, like birthday or uh, when she was 16, uh, a lot of illnesses came to her, into, into her life. And she couldn't understand why, from where. And we started to work. And we found what we have found out. We found out that uh, she uh, was going by the train from one city to the city. And uh, in that train road, uh, a girl suicided mm -hmm. by going uh, before the train and 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 got, got killed by the train and uh, uh, that woman was uh, very sensitive mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, that soul of suicided uh, girl attached to her mm -hmm. uh, what I see here um, that uh, we can conclude that uh, these souls uh, can be ev everywhere, mainly in, in the place of death, and they can attach not only to, to the relatives, but also to sensitive people who have, uh, who have like a larger field of energy, larger aura, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, who have open, open heart and can feel uh, these souls. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, such, such uh, uh, people usually in, in, in childhood feel, uh, can feel that uh, in, they are not alone in the room, they can feel or hear steps, uh, <laughs> uh, they can uh, smell uh, that something or see maybe just uh, that, that, that they're not alone and they, they fear, they have a lot of fear and during some uh, time, they just uh, pray, God, please stop this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see and to feel it. And, uh, and for some time, they don't feel it. This ability uh, stops. Um, so, uh, this like sensitive people, but we talked about uh, souls and these souls uh, mm, not only to the attached not only to the, the sensitive people to other people also but they um, usually do not feel them so sensitive mm -hmm. uh, and uh, other cases where when uh, uh, one woman a businesswoman came to me and asked to clean the business place uh, her business place because uh, he he start uh, working with herself uh, cleaning cleaning energy meditation and, and etc cetera, etc cetera. and she started started to feel bad when she uh, came to when she comes to her office she starts started feeling uh, cold and uh, like unhappy mm -hmm. bad mood and etc etc and and she uh, saw that her business started to went down yeah like before like before it was uh, okay it was earning money and and then something happened and 
uh, I, I went there and uh, started a constellation in that place just to see what is the cause, what, 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 what are the reasons. And uh, several reasons uh, came out, uh, several causes. One cause was that uh, not in that place directly, but near that place, it was an old town, uh, maybe two or three hundred years ago, uh, some people were killed. Mm -hmm. uh, there were executions, uh, like public executions, uh, like uh, hanged up people, uh, and the souls were in, in the radius of, let's say, one kilometer. Of, yeah. from that place. I <laughs> and, want to talk uh, about that next as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, these souls just came to her because she was very sensitive. She got high energy and these souls uh, saw her, uh, saw the light of her and just came here for, for the help. Yeah. <laughs> for the help, not like uh, to harm her, but for the help. Please help us. Please see, we are here. Help us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, sometimes uh, this is a problem for for sensitive people and people who who starts to work with energies, and they got they got frightened of of of, of such things, and they come to me and say, I oh, maybe I don't want to go further. What to do? <laughs> Maybe I want to come back to the uh, early state of, of myself. <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, there is no way back because uh, because when we uh, we can feel the higher state of energy, higher energies, uh, higher level of energies, we don't want to come back to the lower energies yeah. because uh, we can feel the difference. The difference is very, very, very large. If you got uh, acquainted with these uh, higher energies, you, you, you don't want to come back to the lower vibrations. So people come to me too, they say, hey, um, I can be a medium, I, I, I get information you know, from the past loved ones, but I am terrified of it. And I think what's the problem when, why people are afraid because there is lack of education on a subject. If you understand how the whole process works and you know what can happen and what cannot, you don't become afraid of such things. You know how to deal with it. It's just energy, pure energy. And I do have people sometimes asking me too, like, hey, the person that um, you're trying to talk to, the deceased loved one, this is someone who died very long time ago. So they probably have been incarnated. So I'm gonna answer this in this video because we're talking about spirits quite often. Again, it's the same thing like you said, the Akashic record, which is, you know, the, the energy up there that has a sign, you know, in the universe, like, like a signature, you can access it any time, regardless if a person has already incarnated over here because they've left that stamp. And I can access the information and what they would like to say. More because as I'm a medium myself, I did connect with a couple of people who have died from suicide. What I noticed with, you know, as we talked about quick, unexpected deaths, that's when, you know, the body is shaking and you're not ready, you know, to leave. Uh, with suicide, I've noticed that it's kind of premeditated death. So I've heard people talk about it from two sides. Some, some of them say they can be, you know, those uh, spirits that are a lingering there like you talked about it right and i also had experiences when spirit would tell me of you know someone who killed themselves that i'm i've joined the guys above the spirit actually mentioned who they are with and there was a family doc too so i had to confirm that with a client and they said yeah so they were grandpa you know grandma and a dog family doc how can we differentiate who is stuck here and which spirit is is gone up there and some people say that, and some teachers say that, if uh, people make a suicide, they, uh, like a soul, will be on earth until the time of death, real uh, time of death. Sometimes yes, sometimes not. Uh, in constellations, I see that we can help also such souls. Um, 
they they made a decision to to go early from this life and this is a lesson also sometimes we can help uh, if these souls understand the less learn the lesson they can go they can go to the source and can reincarnate reincarnate again usually of course uh, the souls are uh, near us, near the relatives, near the children, or like, let's say fa father got suicide, it could be attached to children, to wife, to parents. Uh, usually uh, souls uh, of the people are attached to the youngest um, members of the family, children uh, or the parents. Um, to the closest to the closest people uh, and if you make a consolation and you see that nothing happens uh, there is no movement no energy so then you you can try uh, to feel yourself like like a children a child of, of that uh, let's say man or, or, or woman and to feel how a child feels mm -hmm. and then you start you start to feel that child is uh, feeling like uh, tense. Uh, tense yes also and uh, like feeling of cold coldness behavior not like a childish behavior like a grown-up yes it's like these suicidal people uh, su suicided souls um, are not uh, are not very different from other souls attached uh, usually Usually, maybe they are acting more. Uh, they have more impact impact on on, on other people. Mm -hmm. uh, they are more uh, more angry, more have more aggression, but uh, not very much. Just uh, just a little bit. Children do not have a strong. Uh, um, how to say strong uh, ego, strong uh, personality yet, and these souls can um, make them act like them. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's uh, not like making act like them. Just these the spirits are wanting to to be noticed. Mm -hmm. Please let's see, see me. I am here. Yeah. Help me. I'm here. I'm stuck. Please help me. It happened with my grandpa. Like you talked about spirit attached to someone who's the youngest. So I was the youngest. And um, I would see my grandpa's spirit all the time since since I could talk, you know, because my mom was quite spiritual. So she, she didn't tell me that, you know, imaginary friends I have. She was quite understanding about that. But Mm, I could see him all the time and um, afterwards my brother who doesn't even believe in such things as much at that time he didn't now he does he's a bit more open we started seeing him too and I know that my grandpa was with me for a long time but it didn't feel like you know anything you know like the entity would feel like because you know this is someone that you knew of but it's still not okay that the energy is being taken away from you so in my constellation with Valdas, we, we did um, kind of say bye to my grandpa's spirit. Yeah. These spirits uh, bite uh, some part of our energy and uh, people uh, fee uh, get feeling that uh, they have a shortage of energy. They wake up in the morning and already uh, does not have uh, and, and energy for, for work, uh, and a, and a for, for like life force, and uh, they have to drink coffee or strong tea um, or some other uh, energy drinks, let's say, j just to do some normal, to live a normal life. This is why people uh, uh, are getting ill, uh, why they have problems in their lives, problems with the money with the happiness and other other fields in life sometimes uh, sometimes uh, aggressive souls are of unborn children which are not seen let's say um, 
woman got pregnant, uh, but uh, she uh, do not doesn't know that uh, she's pregnant, and pregnancy goes away in, in first in first week, and and she even doesn't uh, feel it, and that soul is not seen, mm -hmm. and it, but it's the member of of the whole family of the um, of the whole uh, family tree, mm -hmm. and energy goes to all members of the family. And if, if one person is not included or is excluded from the, is not seen, mm -hmm. or let's say, this is one example. Other example is, let's say one uh, man um, went uh, abroad, uh, went to the country and, for, and doesn't come back uh, to, to, to his native country. And other relatives even doesn't know uh, where he is, where is he dead or alive, does he have family, children, etc., etc. It's like a part of the family is um, uh, departed. Uh, and uh, but energy, for energy, it's it doesn't matter where the family is, where the family members is are. Uh, energy goes through them. Every every person, every member of the of the. And there is a law if uh, uh, part of the uh, family or um, uh, how it's called, uh, how it's called? Ancestry, the ancestry. family members, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. ancestry. It's, uh, it's a blockage of energy. And every member of the family of ancestry feels it. Uh, they, uh, they cannot understand why. They are not uh, happy. Why are not uh, uh, healthy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I uh, when I was learning uh, constellation in in Germany um, uh, with Bert Hellinger, spoke to one uh, woman from Russia, and she told about her constellation, about her relatives. She was in Africa, and a mosquito uh, bit her. Bit her, yes, and. Uh, she, the only person from the whole group, got ill, and she made a constellation why she got bitten by by the mosquito, and why she got ill. The only person from the whole group, and the constellation showed her relatives were live were living in uh, the border of Russia and Finland, mm -hmm. and when, during the Second World War. Uh, when the Russia uh, attacked uh, Finland, the family was um, separated. separated. Yeah, and one part of the family lived in the Russia, and the other part in Finland. Mm -hmm. And uh, they uh, did not uh, contact each other after the, the the war. She even didn't know that she has relatives in Finland. This is this how energy works. It's like the a spiritual intellect mm -hmm. which wants or God we could, we could say which wants that uh, everything could be in order and every member of the of the ancestry of relatives can be seen and uh, accepted mm -hmm. to, to, the, to the, the whole family with the whole family tree so this is like uh, a law uh, that uh, which uh, if we broke that law, we have a block of energy, and yeah. and we can and we can get bitten by the mosquito <laughs> or some yeah. other problem. When you were talking in the beginning about um, you know the body, the energy, and the soul, uh, how I yeah. like to look at what you do, and they, they call it akashic record. So akashic record is basically like a library or of your soul, you know, like books and, and, yeah. and stories of yours. I really like that description. To understand when you access it once, you know, what is the blockage and where to go from there. Healer can escalate the process quicker, but you also have to bring in certain parts, you know, from yourself, take action and continue understanding yourself more or do certain work and not just leave it there, you know, just kind of remember checking in on yourself in a way. Uh, yeah, uh, as I told, everyone can, every, every person can 
uh, develop these abilities to, yeah. to, to read these records. Uh, this information is uh, in the whole universe, and you can feel it everybody. Uh, it's like in quantum physics. Uh, if, if, if uh, let's say, there is a law in quantum, quantum physics that two parts can be um, attached to each other, mm -hmm. and no matter where they are, uh, let's say, if, if one particle changes, the other particle simultaneously changes, mm -hmm. and no, no matter what distance is between them, it's, it, it's simultaneous. It's, it's like, uh, um, uh, even with no speed, it's like, uh, um, how it's called, it, it's, uh, it's sim simultaneous act. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, like like it, it's like uh, one particle knows the information about other particles. Yeah. What happens with, with with other particles? So we everyone uh, is in that information, and we all are attached to each other, mm -hmm. and we can uh, tap to this information, read it, and. Uh, about every person, about every process, about history, about everything. Uh, of course, uh, if you do by yourself and you try to de develop these abilities by yourself, it's a long taking process. It's very long and slow process. Uh, some, some people do not like uh, uh, large transformations because if you go fast, you can uh, you can feel very deep and large transformations inside yourself. You can feel some pains. You can feel uh, headache, migraine. Uh, or, uh, you can dream uh, a lot. Uh, you you can feel a lot of uh, things during night, uh, and 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 you can can even got frightened of, of that process and some people do uh, and uh, I have uh, some clients who came to first constellation uh, and uh, they felt this uh, transformation process began in, in them this pro processes uh, began in them and they got frightened oh no no I don't want them I, 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 I stop I, I, I don't I don't know what will happen next mm -hmm. uh, and, and they go to the uh, normal, let's say, Western medicine, uh, and uh, and uh, they got um, got prescribed some drugs for for, for painkillers and etc. etc. But it's it's a normal process. It's a transformation. Uh, how we can not feel these processes if, yeah. if we have a lot of a lot of uh, blockages in ourselves? gathered through thousands, thousands of thousands uh, past lives, thousands of thousands of our ancestors' lives mm -hmm. in this life. Um, and we want to get rid uh, during like this. Uh, uh, th there is no such process. Uh, maybe a God can do this. <laughs> but yeah. uh, I think it might be a bit easier for those who already somehow in this field or they do certain practices. I find that these people are not as shocked by it. Um, I like to see this process as you described it, you know, this intensity, a bit like a detox, right? You were used to something for so long and now bang, yeah. you have to get rid of it. And with yeah. detox, you have all the bodily pains and it's like an extraction from you in a way. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a very, very similar process of detox. <laughs> it's a very good, precise word. Um, and um, but uh, this process, of course, is is also very, how to say, very, very interesting. For me, when I started my path, uh, my life became very, very colorful. And, and I, I became more and more happier mm -hmm. uh, every, every time. And now, now I can feel happy. Uh, I don't need anything to be happy. I don't need other person. I don't need some, some things, uh, some large money to have or, yeah. or house near the sea to be happy. Just, uh, you, you, uh, when you work with yourself and you get, uh, get lost of this uh, 
uh, that things blockages who can feel happy and you understand how little you need to be happy mm -hmm. that's for sure i think we could kind of call it partially a bit like an enlightenment because when you are enlightened you understand that physical world <laughs> is not gonna bring you anything you know that you need it's all found here but yeah guys continue doing work on you because this is truly powerful <laughs> we talked quite a lot today i think i'm gonna split into chapters and put timestamps on certain topics that we touch so it's easier for people to to go and listen to the parts that they want to and yeah i mean if anyone would like us to discuss any other topic based off wilder's experiences what he saw that's what i like the most hearing you know different types of experiences from people from different work it's very similar work in a way because we all connect into the source maybe comment down below anything that you are trying to find answers to but yeah comment down below your thoughts and let me know guys how you liked the interview type of videos i wanted to do this for a while but i didn't come across a person um, who does a bit of a different work because i would hang around people who do similar work like i do and since I'm taking interest in different things and experimenting myself, you know, testing out different healings, um, I would like to bring more people like that on my channel and hopefully it's going to help those who are looking for certain, you know, maybe practices. Maybe some people will want to go and learn from you, Valdez, how do you do your work? Or um, those people who are looking for healing, I'm going to link your um contacts down below in the description box so you can reach while this and have a chat okay, okay. Uh, thank you brigitta very much uh thank you for this interview uh sorry for my english language i'm not using it every day good luck for, for everyone in, in in your life and we'll speak to you soon while and we're saying bye and maybe until next time of course